Hello, everyone, and welcome to Monday night training. Um, if you are on here, um, and if you are not using your video, if you can just type um, in the comments, if you know how to do that, who you are. Um, I can see Heather Ahada. Um, cannot see uh, there's somebody with an iPhone. But if you know how to do that, that's fine. If you don't, that's that's completely okay. Um, if you were on the um, seven o'clock call um, for the silvers, um, some of this you are going to hear a little bit the same, and then some of it's just a little bit different. So you're just going to be getting a double portion tonight. Just say, oh, yes, hallelujah, amen. Um, so we're going to start out tonight by praying. I hope that's okay. And then uh, scripture. But tonight um, is, hallelujah, uh, tonight is um, on finishing strong, finishing strong, um, going out strong for this year, because I know who all is on my team. I know a lot of people that's on Latoya's team, and y'all are mighty women and men of God, and you have the capability within you. Um, if you are on here tonight, um, up at, if you're on an iPhone or a um, iPad, if you click the screen up at the top right um, corner, it will say mute and have a little microphone. Um, so if you'll just, if you are on here, if you'll just mute that for me, if not everybody hears everything that is going on in your house. <laughs> So again, if you'll just mash the screen and in the top right corner, there's a little microphone that says mute. And if you'll just mash the mute, please. Give them just a second. I don't know who is on, on the iPhone, but if you'll just click your screen um, in the top right-hand corner and mute it for me. Okay, maybe, maybe they will. Um, okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and pray right quick, and then uh, we're going to get started. So, Lord, we thank you so much. For everything that you have blessed us with, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord, that we get to uh, witness to people, we get to sell plexus, we get to take plexus, and it helps with so many different things, Lord. Lord, I ask that you would bless each and every one of these mighty women and men of God. Lord, I ask that you would just order their steps, Father. Take their hands and guide them to the place that you would have them to be, Lord. I ask that you would speak to them and through them in a mighty way, Father. Lord, when they feel like that they are you know, undefeated or they have less uh, confidence within their self, Lord, I ask that you would boost their confidence. Lord, I ask that you would give them a holy backbone, Lord, that's only from you. Lord, I thank you for everything that you are doing. I thank you for your blessings. I thank you for your love and your mercy. Lord, I ask that you would just use me in this time. Lord, I ask that you would just anoint me, Father, and have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Um, so second Chronicles 15 and seven, and I used this earlier, um, but it says, but you be strong and do not lose courage for there is reward for your work. And I love that verse. So, um, I had asked them earlier, um, if you have made your list of a hundred people, and I know this kind of sounds crazy, but if you have not made a list of a hundred people, whether that be, um, uh, groups of your family, your co-workers, um, your, um, just an acquaintance that you just think, hey, they might do good with this, or a uh, church family, I mean, it can be anybody, neighbors, um, it doesn't matter, somebody that looked cool at Walmart, and you're like, I want to hunt that person down, um, but make a list, and then choose the top 20 uh, people off that list, and um, categorize them, so um, I had said earlier in the seven o'clock call, um, Latoya had said something to me and it kind of brought everything to light because I was like, oh, okay, people only need this if they're sick or if they have a health issue in any, you know, any form. But that's not always the case because 
I, yes, that is why I pursued it because all, all my health issues. But at the same time, I, if anybody knows me, I absolutely love making money and I love spending money. So um, if you like making money or if spending money, whatever, um, it is for you as well. So Latoya, the, the reason she signed up, she was like, okay, I want to pursue the business of it, you know, before I ever even know, she wanted to know the comp plans and wanted to know all that before she wanted to know everything else about all the benefits and all that kind of stuff. So you can um, get people on your list as well. Hey, I know, like I've got, I think it's like three or four people that I'm messaging with and I've been messaging probably for the last month and I'm, I've got them almost ready to sign. So one of them, um, she's supposed to sign like within the next few days, but I've got like three more and I pursue, I've been pursuing them because no, I don't know that they have any health issues or anything that's wrong with them, but I know they would be a great leader. I know that they love, one of them loves making money. So that's why I have started pursuing them. So, um, be intentional um set goals for yourself set dead deadlines for those goals um don't get overwhelmed because at times if if your brain works like mine it can get a little overwhelming because whatever i have going on in my life um it's like it's at the front of my brain and that's all my brain can think about like if i want to buy me a new purse then i'm going to be you know, shopping every store, shopping every place online, because I know my brain knows I want to buy that new purse. And that's all I can think about. So um, I have to intentionally like write down, okay, here are my goals for this week. FYI, Danielle, these are the things that you are going to do. These are the things that you are going to prioritize. These are the things only that you are going to focus on. Because if not, the way my brain works, I'm trying to hunt somebody that's not on my top 20, or I'm trying to, uh, you know, talk to somebody else that I don't have an, an intentional um, uh, purpose for, you know, talking to that person. I'm not saying that, hey, if that person's on your, not on your list or whatever, and you're getting your hair done or you're at Walmart and then somebody mentions, oh, I have headaches every day, or I have IBS, or I have whatever the issue is. I'm not saying that, hey, they're not on your top 20 that you have off your 100 list and you cannot you cannot talk to them. No, go ahead and talk to those people. Um, and then I had also mentioned earlier, and I know people are probably going to give me grief about this, but I just thought it was funny. If you go to church, um, I, had told, I had told earlier, watch for the people that go to the altar call. So, you know, they have a health issue. Stand at the back of the church and wait for them people to leave and say, hmm, you might need some plexus as well. Jesus can heal you and use some little bit of plexus. So that's just an inside joke, but if you really want to do that, that's fine. Also, Walmart works and um, at, um, laundry mats, that works as well. So there's not an excuse for not adding people on your team. Um, when you do message those people, when you do um, FaceTime, whatever you're, you're doing, um, to message your top 20 or your top 15, how many ever you want to pick, make sure to follow up. If they say, okay, I'm not wanting to do it until after Christmas, or I'm not wanting to do it until after the first of the year, or money is tight or whatever. I had told them earlier, if they say money is an issue, I put a dollar sign beside their name. If they say, no, I've got to talk with my doctor, you know, okay, talk with your doctor. I'll gladly send you the um, ingredients and everything that's in it. Talk with your doctor, follow right back up with them. Ask them, hey, okay, is there a reason that your doctor, you know, doesn't want you on whatever it is? Or are you allergic to anything? Is there any red flags that your doctor has ever, you know, told you? Ask those right questions. Um, earlier, I had actually, I had been watching some YouTube videos uh, today for Plexus. Um, if you do not watch YouTube videos, they are phenomenal okay there's hundreds there's latoya actually has one alita has some uh, there's people that are over me that i don't even know their name um they have them but you can key in anything and you can watch um when i drive to alabama and when i drive back i am praying and watching plexus videos that's what i'm doing the whole time so you do not have an excuse for not learning the products and for not growing as far as knowledge and growing your team and and all the right things 
use YouTube, okay? Use um, those learning uh, tools that have been gave to you, and they're free. So um, there was a lady that um, was on YouTube, and Latoya asked me her name earlier, and I don't, I don't remember. But um, she is at the very top, so she's, I don't know how much she's making, but it's evidently a lot. And she said that a lady had walked up to her, um, and she said, I am... Um, a gold ambassador and she said I need to know how to go to senior gold and she told the lady she said I, I want you to go silver and so the lady said oh I don't think that you're understanding the question she said I said I'm a gold ambassador and I'm needing you know to go senior gold and she said go silver so what she is meaning is always sign up those number one people you're, you're right under you people, okay? And then encourage them highly, not just for the money that they're going to make, but by getting three people under them, they are 80% more likely to all stay on the product, okay? That's going to be accountability partners for uh, their self. That's going to help you out, okay? Um, and then that is also going to be if the if the bonuses and everything are still the same right now, they're going to be getting three hundred and sixty dollars. Well, that's going to pay almost three months of their products. OK, so that is the key. OK, you cannot do this by yourself. You cannot build a team on number ones. You're going to eventually run out of people unless you have billions of friends, which I do not. Um, you have got to motivate your team. You've got to um, um prioritize as far as like hand pick um who would be a great runner who would be a great leader um even like i said earlier like if they are um you don't think that they have health issues you just think that they love you know making money they may be a great person like the four people that i'm trying to get on my team they may be a great person for that reason so um hand pick those those people and try to get them to uh, add three people. That is the power of three. The plexus, there's, it's all over YouTube. The power of three, the power of three, the power of three, because you cannot do it by yourself. You've got to have help. You have got to have leaders that are under you that are uh, willing to um, see the vision and see what you know it can do and see the comp plans and all that kind of stuff and catch the dream and then just go alongside with you and say, okay, this is, this is what I want to do. Um, then um, Latoya had uh, tagged me earlier, actually earlier this evening. Um, and she had, um, it's a Facebook uh, post. Um, y'all, y'all might be tagged on there as well, but it is, um, I don't want to tell you wrong who actually posted it, but it's Sharon Bowen. And I, I didn't get to watch all of it yet, but I'm going to go back and, and watch it. But supposedly she is just taking off and she's doing really well and she's adding people like crazy. And so they had went on there and they had asked her what she was doing. Um, and it is, I get kind of tickled because most of the time, every, every YouTube that I've watched or every Facebook video that I have watched, people are like, what's the magic sauce? What's the magic, you know, magic method that you're doing? every one of them are so similar okay it is all like follow up sip and sees uh zoom calls um facebook chats it's all the same but it's consistently consistency um so i'm going to tell you right quick just a few um we're getting a little close to time but uh just a few that she had said number one she said that is her biggest is follow up um and then i had seen as uh, somebody else had posted earlier that it sometimes takes people 15 times hearing it from you before they're ready to sign up. 15 times. So don't think that you're getting on their nerves. Um, it could be a situation like me where my health is, it was life threatening. And, you know, Latoya wanted to share with me for three and a half years. And she said she was just so afraid to share with me. But then she shared and it has completely changed my life. So think about that when you're scared and you're like, I don't want to share with this person. Or what if they think that I'm just being salesy? Or what if they just, you know, think this or think that? What if it could change their life? I mean, like, what if? It could be life-changing for them. Um, so 
The second thing that she said was to be consistent every day, whether that is um, making a Facebook post. Um, you don't always have to say about Plexus. You can just say about how you're feeling good or, or whatever it is that you're doing. Be consistent every day. Um, watch on Facebook or social media. If um, people have any, um, they make any posts that they say they have health issues or bad headaches or whatever, then private message them and say, hey, I don't know if you know that, you know, I'm doing Plexus or I'm taking Plexus, but this could help with, you know, your fill in the blank, whatever the issue is. Um, tell them that about the 60 day money back guarantee, they have nothing to lose. Um, and then you need to duplicate, just like I was saying the power of three earlier. Um, you need to du duplicate. You get you a number one, they get three people under them, okay? Because um, chat parties, sip and sees, Zooms, what, however you need to do it. Um, but you um, make sure that you're doing that. Make sure that you're duplicate. You cannot do this by yourself, okay? Um, you have to do this for your entire team. Like as that person, as your number one gets three people, they need to be motivating whoever um, they get under them to get three people as well, okay? And then that's how it goes on down the line. All those things works for people that you have, all the things that I just mentioned for follow-up, be consistent, um, watch and see if you have somebody that um, has any health issues that has posted, um, all that kind of stuff, duplicate. It, it works for people that you're signing up or have signed up already. All of those things, that's what she was saying. Um, and then I was going to read, um, I had told earlier that I love when, when Brian puts statistics and stuff when he is uh, preaching. And so I read a statistic that said um, a survey of more than 6,000 global professionals found that only 11% of respondents regularly accomplished all the tasks on their day-to-day to-do -day to list. And it says, why do all the other 89% fail? And um, I know some of you already know, but it is distractions. And the way that my brain works, I completely agree with that. And that's why I was saying earlier, making me a list and writing, like I have to write, literally, I have to write everything down or I forget. And that's how my brains always work. Um, but making me a list, making me a um, deadline, setting goals, being intentional. Um, if not, you're going to get distracted. Okay. D try not to get overwhelmed. At the beginning of the week, I set me a list out other than the people that I run into or I meet face to face. Um, I set and I try to meet those goals every week. Okay. Me and Latoya was talking on the phone this morning and if we keep on going like what we're going, um, which is going to be great, but we've got to be intentional. Okay. I want to go to Hawaii this coming year. If, if I'm going to make it to Hawaii this coming year, then we have really got to be intentional. I have to get 50 people a month, my team. I have to inspire them to get, help get people or we're not going. So there's a deadline. So I know in my brain, there is a deadline of July 31st. That's the cutoff. Okay. So write those things out, make you a whiteboard, make you a piece of paper that says, why are you doing plexus? Why number one to feel better or whatever your reason is at the top of my list, it says 1.3 million because I want to pay my church off. Okay. And I know a lot of people are like, Oh my gosh, you know, um, that's a lot of money. Well, you can make a lot of money doing plexus. If you do it the right way and you, you do it how you're supposed to, you can make a lot of money. So it is possible. Anything is possible. So I wanted to open up right quick. If anybody has any questions or any um, suggestions, anything like that, um, just pop them in the chat or come on the video, however you're comfortable. Mine does not show me. They don't keep it up here. Okay. All right, ladies. Well, I will not keep you, but I do want to encourage you. You are stronger than what you think that you are. You can do this. Okay. If you have a day where you're feeling overwhelmed or you're feeling like you cannot do this, 
reach out to your upline, reach out to me. I don't mind. I don't know if I'm much of a motivator, but I will try to light a fire under you and kick you in the rear and tell you, hey, you can do this. You can do this. It's somewhere within you that you can do this, okay? And like I said, please, please, when you are questioning yourself whether or not to reach out to someone or not or um, share with someone, please be reminded that not everybody's health issues are the same as yours, okay? Um, there's probably, I don't even know a single soul uh, that has the issues of what I had. So, that's how rare it is. What if you're that 1% or how many ever percent that is, okay? It could change someone's lives. So know that I love y'all and that I'm praying for y'all. If you need anything, please reach out and I hope y'all have a blessed week and let's finish this week strong and let's um, completely build the rest of our teams, our, um, our goals that we have for the rest of this year and let's finish strong. I know y'all can do it. Have a blessed week. Love you all.